Ange Postoglu says he couldn't resist Tottenham Hotspur. Could that Matt O'Reilly not resist Real Betis, guys? Welcome back to NR Fed here on Fog Football. And it's not the only team in for him, for Matt O'Reilly. Of course, we've seen the likes of Brighton. Leicester have been in for O'Reilly. Well, I say in for him. They've been linked with a move. Nothing particularly, uh, you know, concrete about any of this. But at the same time, it is being rumoured. And Real Betis are... The club that are apparently in pole position. Celtic have the history real bit. It's of course facing them in the Europa League a few seasons ago. It was just Ange's first um, season. But, you know, Celtic, if you check the video out earlier on today, linked with a move for uh, Donny van der Beek. I don't know if there's much to it. It looks like if it was going to happen, it'd be a loan. But, you know, kind of already knew that. But if real Betis want them, they're going to have to deal with a lot of competition. There is the likes of Valencia. Sofia and Brighton. I can just, I mean, I'm not just saying this like because you know, more focused on the Premier League, but I think Matt O'Reilly to Brighton just look, seems like it would happen. Celtic would sell him for like what 15 20 million, maybe. Maybe they could get more. Leave your thoughts down below on what you think his valuation is. And you can just see Matt O'Reilly going for like 70 million to like a, to like a Chelsea because that's what Brighton do. They sign players, man. And that's not me saying, you know, every player that they could sign for the Scottish Leagues is going to go on to be worth 80 million, 70 million, 60 million. But that's just what happens, man. That's what Brighton do. That's what they do. As Mark Henry would say, man, that's what I do. That's exactly um, what happens at the end of the day for that guy. So Real Betis, Lane Smackdown, they want Matt O'Reilly. But for Matt O'Reilly, what is his transfer fee? Well, according to uh, the almighty transfer market, which again, I think most of the time, transfer market don't exactly, you know, get everything right on the money, but they value him at 9 million euros. Now he is born in 2000, he is 22, he would turn 23 this season. And what's mad about it, he's actually, he's actually younger than me, what's that about? What's that by about a month and four days, by about 34, 35 days, Matt O'Reilly is a, uh, Younger than me, which doesn't really mean anything. It just means I'm getting old. Football is progressing. It's mad to think that someone born in 95 is like 28. Just shows you how quickly football has went on. You still feel like you're living in the 2010s, but in reality, guys, we're heading towards the 2030s. Spooky times, but 9 million euros. I think Celtic could probably get a bit more than that, to be honest. Like, Yota. I'm not saying Yota was valued at less than O'Reilly, but at the same time... Yota, 25 million. It says here on transfer market that Yota's value is 14 million euros. So if you look, if you look, if you, if you spin it, man, it can just go all these different ways at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, the rumours linking Hatati with Saudi Arabia have seemed to have died down. I haven't really seen a, a Saudi Arabia be linked to anybody recently. Uh, well, apart from Milinkovic Savic, I've seen him linked, but in terms of anything else, not really seen that go down. We did see a photo of Yota, Kante and Benzema in the changing room, which I thought actually looked quite um, intriguing. And uh, yeah, will Hattati be joining that? Well, I don't think Matt O'Reilly is, because every club that's linked to O'Reilly is a European club or an English club um, or whatever. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Real Bertes want Matt O'Reilly be back later. Rangers have had a bid reject it again for Danilo, so we'll make a fed on that. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe your thoughts down below and until next time fog football signing it